Venomous snakes of Texas. Texas is home to a wider diversity of snakes than any other state in the Union. Most native snakes are non-venomous or in some cases slightly venomous to their prey, but essentially non-venomous to humans. Texas is home to 15 venomous snakes, one species of coral snakes, one species of cottonmouth, three species of copperheads, and a total of 10 species of rattlesnakes. The brightly colored Texas coral snake is related to the cobras. They have a neurotoxic venom that acts rapidly on the nervous system and causes death by suffocation. They are usually secretive by nature. All of the other poisonous snakes in Texas belong to the family of pit vipers. These names come from the deep facial pit on each side of the head between the nostrils and the eye. The pit is a sensory organ that helps the snake detect warm butter prey at considerable distances and also in the dark. The venom of the pit vipers is primarily hemotoxic, meant to kill and predigest food animals. Bites are painful and victims may experience immediate severe pain, swelling, faintness, vomiting, and digestion of tissue around the wound. Also beware of handling freshly killed snakes. Reflex actions can cause even decapitated heads to bite. Copperheads are found in rocky areas and wooden bottomlands and are rare in dry areas. Copperheads are responsible for more bites than any other venomous snake in the United States, but deaths due to the bites are extremely rare. There are three subspecies of copperheads in Texas. The southern copperhead is found in the eastern third of the states. The broad-banded copperhead, which is widely scattered in central and western Texas. And the Trans-Pecos copperhead, which is found near springs in the southern part of the Trans-Pecos. The western cottonmouth or water moccasin is found in the eastern half of the state in swamps, rivers, ponds, and streams. They get their names from the white tissue inside their mouth, which is displayed when threatened. Cottonmouths will often stand their ground and shake their tails when excited. Cottonmouths cause an average of one death per year. Texas has 10 rattlesnake species, more than any other state except Arizona. The rattle is the hallmark of these snakes. The rattle is made up of loosely attached horny segments that strike against one another to produce a buzzing sound when the tail is vibrated rapidly. In the very young, the rattle is represented by a button. Each time the snake sheds a new segment is added. Rattlesnakes account for an estimate of 7,000 bites per year in the United States, but only 9 or 10 of the bites are fatal. The western Massasuga is found throughout the middle of the state in grassy, marshy, and swampy areas. It is small, nocturnal, prairie-dwelling rattlesnake, most numerous in north-central Texas and not often seen except on paved roads warming itself after dark. The desert Massasuga is found in the Trans-Pecos, Panhandle, and the lower Rio Grande Valley. The pygmy rattlesnake is an ill-tempered, it will often rattle and strike when it is disturbed, but sometimes its small rattle can barely be heard. It is found in the pine and scrub oak forest in the eastern Texas. The most common and widespread venomous snake in Texas found in all but the eastern part of the state is the western diamondback. It is also account for nearly all the state's serious case of venom poisoning. The timber rattlesnake, also known as the cane break rattlesnake, is found in the eastern third of the state in wooden areas around in wet bottoms. The model rock rattlesnake is found in the central Texas west through the Trans-Pecos region and the south to the border. They are often found in broken desert canyons and evergreen mountain terrain. The banded rock rattlesnake is found primarily in the two westernmost counties of Texas. Because of their unusual pigmentation, both races of rock rattlers are attractive to reptile fanciers and are therefore protected from capture by state law. Blacktail rattlesnake or greentail rattler is found in the wooden canyon and mountains of the West Texas. It is characterized by a black tail. 
The Mojave rattlesnake is similar to the western diamondback in markings, but smaller and more slender and found only in extreme west Texas. Its venom is even stronger than the western diamondback in some geographical portions of its range. A fact that makes a Mojave rattler one of the most dangerous poisonous snakes in the U.S. The prairie rattlesnake lives predominantly in the panhandle grasslands and sometimes in the Trans-Pecos, a very abundant rattler that lives in the grasslands in the Great Plains, but retreats in the winter to dense and rocky outcrops and ledges, where owls and prairie dogs make an excellent meal. Texas is home to 105 different species and subspecies of snakes. Only 15 of those are potentially dangerous to humans. Unfortunately, most people react first by killing the snakes and identifying them later. However, snakes play a key role in the balance of nature. They're also beautiful to look at and interesting to watch once you dispatch the fear and suspicion most people observe them with. I even keep two as pets.